up, cyberpunks and retro nerds? Welcome back to another edition of Neon Trash. Tom of the Hammer here, hanging out with Adam McDougley's and Johnny Rockets. We are in Strongsville, Ohio, once again checking out the Cinema Wasteland Horror Expo. Oh, yeah. Today should be a good day. I can't wait. Without further ado, guys, let's get right to the convention. All right. Cinema Wasteland, and we bought a fuck ton of movies. So, in order to pick something, we decided to leave things to chance. We have picked six of our movies, three of mine, three of Tommy's. We're gonna roll it up here, and we'll see what the review is gonna be, folks. Stay tuned. guys so the die has been cast and it has decided that we check out the movie called Wicked Wicked this movie's gimmick is that it is presented in duo vision which means mm -hmm. the screen is split in half and you get what the killer sees and you get what the victim sees so this is gonna be quite the mind fuck <laughs> never really heard of this movie before but I thought it looked interesting hopefully I can dig up a trailer and if I do you guys are gonna be peeping, peeping that, that shit. shit and when we get back you guys are gonna know our opinions on Wicked, wicked. Didn't think we were gonna let you slip by without peeping that shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> wicked, wicked. Mm, not on my watch. <laughs> this is a single screen preview of the first feature film production in Duo Vision. An action packed thriller from MGM. Wicked, wicked. <laughs> when was the last time you were really frightened by a film? Help me! Help me! You'll be doubly afraid when you see Wicked, wicked <laughs> in Duo Vision. Wicked, wicked. The concept of having one image on the left and one image on the right definitely gave this movie a strong comic book film noir vibe. It was colorful, great actors, interesting music, and definitely surprised me with its overall execution, and I thought this was definitely a fun flick. What about you, Doodles? So we watched Wicked, and Wicked became a double screen. Wicked, Wicked, I'll tell you what you mean. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh yeah! <laughs> All apologies to Ice Cube aside, and yeah. apologies to the audience as well. Apologies to me. <laughs> yeah, apologies to Tom. Um, yeah, this was definitely a rare gem. And I think this is perfect for a post-Cinema Wasteland review because it's going to that convention and finding things like this that are one of its highlights. What it's all about. Yes, it really is. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the, this... Uh, this is the only movie I've, I've seen like this, where it's shot two different, you know, images going on simultaneously. To say this is a unique film is, is quite the understatement, honestly. I've never seen or even, like, heard of anything like this, honestly. I mean, I'm not, like, maybe, like, the biggest cinema buff, you know, so maybe someone like me wouldn't have heard of something like this, but I don't know. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, I mean, to me, uh, one of a kind. Like, it's, it, it, uh... You know, I thought maybe you know, reading the description, this would be kind of off-putting. I was like, man, is this really? Are they gonna be able to pull this off? This is gonna be weird, like. But like, it, it somehow it works. Like at first, like I found myself like watching one screen or the other, <laughs> yeah. and like kind of missing the other screen. But like after a few minutes, like I don't know, my brain like split, and I was able to like watch them both at the same time, <laughs> and absorb, and it was really really neat. And yeah, it did give it a kind of a comic 
panel-y type of feel to it. So, um, that being said, it is not without its faults, but I can still give this a solid seven and a half, almost oh, eight. yes. Nice. Um, go on, man. It's up to you. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of right there with John. I mean, um, it had its flaws, and I, I think if not for the very original approach, I might have ranked this uh, lower on the spectrum. But um, for the chances it takes, I mean, this is... For the, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a challenge, and I can totally understand why this whole dual screen concept did not take off after this film. I mean, this is completely original. You can't do approach. this again. No, you can't. No. <laughs> I mean, I it, like it, but like it. Yeah, it worked solely for this film, and it elevates itself to a 7 out of 10, in my yeah. opinion, for just the concept. Mostly alone. Mostly for that, and for the fact that it knows its references, that whole old school scary, I, will, I will quickly interject yeah if, if it didn't have the unique aspect of the dual screen dual script and everything like this movie like single screen would have probably been like a six yeah you're kind of forced to think about the plot a little bit and um there are moments where it does take chan chances especially considering the year uh 1973 you've got the gimmick element and then you got this out of place humor this movie um, <laughs> it was pretty off the wall, by the way. It, it had so much on its mind, so many things that the director and the producers were trying to do. Just you, to let you know, you you've got to give props. One scene has Teddy Roosevelt, just to let you know. Oh, that weird made no, I mean, it made sense, I mean, but it made no sense. Like, I, you know, I honestly, I immediately put those scenes, like, out of my mind. And, 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 like, blowing, like, that blood through the pipe into, like, the ladies' face. Well, yeah, was that, like, I mean, it was cool to this, watch. I mean, like, when did we turn into a Lo Looney Tunes cartoon? <laughs> Like yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna revise my star count a little bit because I forgot about that scene. That's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna go with a flat seven flat here, seven. honestly. And, and that's the guys, like, honestly, that's where I'm at. Like, you take those scenes out though, you get like seven and a half, eight. These, but these like, boys, uh, these boys are on a seven. Rich too far. Yeah. They're on a seven. I'm on a seven. Seven, seven, seven. The magnificent yeah. seven. Magnificent seven. Um, but yeah, if you strip it down, this is actually a six. But with that being said, none of our reviews. <laughs> be it the gimmick or the actual narrative itself, are below a five. So that tells me a lot about this movie. That means this is a drive-in uh, gimmick movie, a sleazy B movie that actually gets it right. So if you guys want a movie that uh, steps outside the circle, does something different with the cinematography, and um, oddly is enjoyable, because despite the wooden acting, despite the paint-by-numbers narrative, I liked the people in it. I liked the fact that our brains had to yeah. split, yeah. and I like how we somehow fell into a groove yeah, with this it movie. It helps yeah. keep you engaged yeah. with it. Like, yeah. there's, yeah, you know. It's, just, it's, just like it's the weirdest movie. fucking movie I've ever seen. It's a success, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, just because it's not a 10 out of a 10 success doesn't mean it's not a success. So, with all that being said, guys, I hope you've been informative. Until the next time, tune, tune in to Beyond Trash. Trash.